It's that big in swing and it's a thick, thick inside edge. And oh, it's not going to happen because he's got that over fine leg and that should scoot on and that'll be a four. So the first run's off the bat. Oh, he might have got a piece of that. No, he hasn't got enough. That's going to be a dismissal. Yeah, easy, easy catch. And our boy, Harmon Singh, who's got the broken lead, well, he might have a broken heart because he's out for not many again. Thanks to Bias Strath once again for their support of European cricket. And this one, well, it's a total disaster. Oh, for the batsman at least, Usman Malik, he's pretty happy about it. He's made a complete mess of the stumps. And, well, just like that, another wicket goes down. And Liege, well, they've taken the initiative and they're, they're batting first here. But now they've lost a second early wicket. It's 12 for two. Oh, oh that's trouble. close. He's going to give this, and it is out. And I was looking at the screen for that delivery, Vinny. I think yeah. he was plumb. I was looking live, and I still gave it out because he just caught in the crease. No real footwork. I noticed this a couple of times. I think this is dead duck stuff. You see the point of impact. Long, long, long off. In place. Deep square leg. Any deep edge cover. will be four. And there you uh, go. Well, Corey Lee Rutgers, also Nostradamus. You've got, to, you've got to have a third man. Your voice carries. Oh, oh, third man. Give me a third man, Vinny. Well, he goes after Pierre. And, well, très bien. That's a great shot. And he takes him for six. Maximo, six over cover. Yeah, lovely cricket shot. Good front foot extension and uh, straight through the ball there and lifts it over the offside. And the, one of the great names, Pierre Jacod, oh, will be... Uh, hey, let's do it. Oh, no. Ooh, he yeah. Gets away with it. He gets away with it, man. He's going to get four. And look, there's absolutely nobody at fine leg, so it makes it a safer shot. But he's still got to hit it, Corey. You take a bit of a risk when you do this, but the risk pays off. Well, if he missed that, we would have seen a bit of timber. But he got a little bit of bat on it, and it scooted away for four. So, nice shot from Maniba Hammond. Oh, and he oh. knocks him over. And this one comes the other way. What a good bit of seam bowling from Sadiq. And the first one went away, and now he gets the big wicket of Umer Bart. Once again, no real foot movement from the batsman. And uh, we'll catch this one on the replay. Again, this time, well, if anything, just kind of hit the seam and, and acted a bit unpredictably off the pitch. And then he says, yep. Yeah. Well, that could be a six. Yeah, that one's out of here. And this one, that's a good shot through the line. Well, that might be in the hole. That's the putting green up there. And, well, Pierre gets the treatment again. It's the kind of length the batsman is able to get under it. And, yeah, if you, if you miss that, that length, if you're trying to get up in the block hole, Oh, he's hoyed that across the line, Vinny. That could be in a hole, actually, and it is in a hole. Well, it gets four. Oh, oh that's, that's a no-y. No yeah. Has to be. Well, oh, that's a seven. Game changer. So they've already hit a six and a four off this over. A seven hurts because the next ball's a free hit. Good call from the ump. That was definitely above waist. And uh, I dare say my nan would have hit that one for six. So poor ball, really, from Pierre Jocod. Oh, it's hit hard. This could be a catch. Oh, oh no. Oh, Pierre. Oh, I talk he's fielding up as well. Look how gutted he oh, is. Suck it, bleu. Oh, hot for Dummer. This competitive target. Mr. Razak's got him back in the game, that is for sure, because that is big as well. That is oh, huge. Oh, Vinny watch Sandu. Out. Watch out. Oh. oh, it's another crowd catch. <laughs> Who was that? Oh, well, that's gone to his teammate. And I actually think that's Jabarkel, who's getting ready to bat. And he has to stand up and has to get to the end of the over. And, well, they're going to make it in the end, or do they? Well, he's gone. Well, he must have been on the treadmill here. Mm, I'm not real happy. Yeah, that. I mean, I think he is just out here. And this is a good bit of fielding because he had to take it. And, yeah, it's a good bit of wicket-keeping as well from Sher 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 Sherry Butt. Well, this is in the air, but where's Pierre? He's there, and he takes the catch. Well, that's a nice one. And uh, he'll be very, very happy about this. And, oh, Marcus Raja, he's had a bit of a day to forget with the bat, unfortunately. This time he goes first ball. Got a fair piece of it, but it went higher than it went long, and the result is another wicket. Oh, folks. We're back no, here. And, oh, ball. that's hooked into the leg side, and Roger Sarklane's going to watch that sail straight over his head. So, Lee's still going. Razak, good little innings this. This is an ugly innings, but it's kind of getting to the point where at least it's defendable. You've got to run. Don't miss. Oh, it's going to be two. Miss. And, well, they're going to try for an impossible so now two. They, so they start running hard now. Yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't call that hard, but they do get a bye. 
This really should have been a run out. They wouldn't want to lose by a run. Sherry Bart yeah, he's couldn't possibly miss. A slight fumble. That made him panic. Yeah, not Missed real. it by a stump and a half. And that is the end of the innings. 93 for six, Liege. It doesn't look like enough. But funny things have happened in this year on the Fangood European Cricket Series. Well, it's down the leg side and swung the other way a little bit after passing the bat. And oh, there's the edge for four, though. Oh, no. That's two straight, though, and that's almost hit the moon. That's a dirty fully. And to tell you what, my nan would have hit that one for six. Too many full tosses from Liege. You just can't bowl full tosses. Use the facilities. Anyone's hitting that, and that could get the beak into a rich vein of form. That's too short. Where is it? No, it's not too short. This could be caught. Wackus Raja tracking back, and it is. Well, I thought it was a bit of a long hop. I've miscalled that. Poor commentary, really. And Wackus Raja takes a pretty simple catch moving back. So Verbeek's poor run continues with the bat. He'll be disappointed not to have put that one over the fence because that was short. But you can see the bat turning in his hands a little bit, just skewed off. So he is gone, and that is a big early wicket. Oh, nice cricket shot, that. Poor bowling. It's wide. It's full. And, uh, yeah, all he has to do is catch up with it and get a little bit of bat on it, but he got a lot of bat on it, and that's going to be a big six. That would have been a wide as well. So, nice shot from Usman Malik. Adnan Razak, you've got to get it better than that. That's a wide half volley, and, yeah, it's going to be punished. And these are the extra balls that... That is going to be an absolute monster hit. Sherry, but there it is, Will saying... Looking for a six, put a divot into the green, and that is a big, big hit. Oh, that's hit over the offside, and that's going to go for six. So maybe this is the over that Kampong really take initiative. That's two big blows in the over, and yeah, not easy. Not the worst ball in the world. It's hit straight in the middle of the bat, though, and gone over the offside for six. Oh, it's high. That's straight up. This is the moment. It has to be caught by Wackus Raja. Oh, and he's dropped it, and I reckon he's dropped the game. Oh, well, tell you what, who's going to catch that one? Oh, it's almost an absolute screamer. Yep, yeah, fair effort. He's gone with the one-handed juke, but that's a big, big, big six from Usman Malik. Oh, he does it. Oh, well, I tell you what, maybe I've called her too early, and he points to the dressing room says, see you later, mate, because I've got you. See that leg pole? She's mine. I'm taking her home. It was the arm ball. Skid it on. It's good bowling. And uh, Liege, well, they're not out of it. Wackus Raza would be feeling good after the drop catch. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, I think he caught up with it. He got a little bit of bat on it. It's going to go away for four. That hurts. Oh, jeez. He's lucky he got a bat on that because that would have been plum. But he's got plenty of bat on it. Oh, slog sweep. Can someone catch that? No. It might have gone all the way as well. Well, the umpire's gone the early call of four. Oh, it's a slow wrong, and, and that's been dispatched as well. Another six. Well, I said at the start of the innings, guys, that you had to get Sherry Butt and Usman Malik out early to have a chance, and uh, they couldn't get both of them. Usman Malik spatted through. He'd had a good day with the ball and hadn't made too many runs with the bat today, but this game he's capitalised. Catch it, Wackus. Yeah, thank you. Well, I'll tell you what, stranger things have happened in sport. Leicester City winning the EPL about seven years ago is one. And that's an absolute dolly back to the bowler. I think you'd be happy with that for a return catch. Yeah, called it. It's high, and I reckon that's going to go for six. It will go for six. That takes him to 47. And Kampong, more importantly, to three for 86. Eight runs away. I said he's going to throw the long handle, and it was a pretty good punt. Take me to the TAB straight away. Got under it, but like I said, 50 to 55 metre boundaries. Get it in the air. More than likely, you will get it above and beyond. Out. Dropped. Ooh. Here we go. And <laughs> so there's consolation. It's been one of those days where <laughs> Raja just catches it, throws it away. And I'm sure we'll have better days. Leeds looks like they're going to sink to another loss. Oh, go on the reverse. Well, not the reverse, sorry. The scoop again. And got an enough of it. That's going to go for four. Pierre Jacquard gets a four to finish it. And Kampong, well, they mosey themselves to another win, Vinny. And yeah. uh, nice cricket shot to finish. Yeah, it is. And that's all she wrote, day three. Just a reminder. 
Two catches tomorrow morning for the final day of group matches. A lot on the line, especially for the two teams without a win after three days of action. Join us from 7 a.m. GMT, which is 9 o'clock in Central Europe, 12.30 p.m. in India. And, well, Corey, thanks again for your mm. your company. And thanks to everyone in the chat as well. It's been great to have you guys. And look, The rain did stay away. We had a bit of cloud cover pretty much all day, but yeah, it stayed dry. But uh, Kampong, they'll be happy with their day's work.